What is good, Grey Gang? We're here today. We're in the middle of the woods. So I was driving home the other day, probably from church, I think. And do you know what I saw? I seen a squirrel. And first thing in my mind, I was like, Kendall, dude, you have to do the roadkill catch and cook challenge. That's a really bad idea. But I'm not going to do it. Instead, it looked a little old. So I picked up the squirrel and we put it in a big cage trap. Now let me just tell you, we're going to catch some. I don't know what we're going to catch. It may be a fox, for real. It may be a fox, coyote, bobcat, coon, possum, skunk. Any of those options. Probably not a deer, but I didn't say deer, so we're good. Anyways, guys, what we're going to do, this is a giant trap. It's so heavy. We're just going to set this trap right out here in the middle of the woods, open it up, and see what in the world we can catch. Now, we're not going to do anything too fancy. We're not going to take leaves and camouflage it in or anything. I'm just going to set it like that because I know we'll catch something like that and I think we'll just do it like that. I mean, I picked up the score off the road. I wasn't about to put it back. Now, we are actually going to set a trail camera on it and let me tell you, y'all been waiting for it. They are here. <laughs> KG trail camera. Now, as you can see on the outside, you see the KG camo. This is actually the camo that's made out of the hunting gloves and my, like, you know, hunting shirts. Perfect for blending into the tree. That way, it's less likely to get spotted by an animal or even worse, a human. The battery power is eight AA batteries. It'll also only run on four if you only have four batteries. I prefer to use rechargeable ones just because I don't like to throw away batteries. But anyways, let's come on over here and turn it on. It's just like the prototype I was doing, except there's the welcome page as an elk. And then I'm gonna turn it off real quick just so you can see the exit page. Look, it's, it's a bear and it's waving. But anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and set this I don't know. Do we want to go with photo or video? And I guess in a situation like that, you just do both. Luckily for this camera, we can we can literally do exactly that. So we're going to do photo and video. I'm going to get on here right now and I'm going to set the date and time so that, you know, everything's good. The timestamp's good. Then we're actually going to strap it onto that tree, set the trap, and we're just going to wait overnight. But man, I'm so excited. The trail cameras are finally here. And I think what I'll actually do, I think I'm going to give you all a promo code at the end of the video if you want to pick you up your own and it's not going to be long i'm only going to run it for like maybe three days but since this is the grand reveal i'll give y'all a little promo code but y'all gotta stay tuned okay you gotta stay tuned oh also one more thing it comes with this strap so that you don't have to go get your own which you know I, that's the way that's shot I, I don't know what i'm saying we're gonna strap it onto this tree right here and then i'm gonna angle it a little bit more and i might even show you a trick of how to get the perfect angle on a trail camera <laughs> There we go, that should be good. Now I'll come over here and get y'all, and I'm gonna show you this little trick. So as you can see, it's kind of upright. It's not the right angle for that over there. We're gonna have to change something a little bit. We're gonna have to tilt it down. And what I like to do for that is just get down here on the ground, pick up a little stick, and then I'll wedge it right in there behind the trail camera. That'll tilt it down a little bit. And I'll come in here and try my best to stick the stick right down in there. That'll give it a little bit of an angle. Exactly what we're looking for. Now I'll come over here to the trap. Look back at the tree, it's pretty straight. It is looking for me. I think I'll tilt it down a little bit more and then we should be good and I'll set it. And that right there, honestly guys, that should be good. We should be able to catch something I wouldn't doubt if we catch something overnight. And we're cutting into the video for a second to tell you about this video sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. Now, I have one of our boxes right here. They're going to help us out. Now, if you don't know what Dollar Shave Club is, Dollar Shave Club is a company with grooming products, such as like shampoo, razors, and even deodorant. What we have right here and what we're actually going to unbox is one of their subscription items that they send you each and every month. First things first, pull out a gigantic knife and we'll cut this box open. Okay, I think we got it. Ooh. Oh, what is this? This is one of their shaving boxes. You got four heads on the razor, and then you have the actual like handle of the razor itself. And then even in here, it comes with a thing of shave butter. This stuff really helps you shave, and it's transparent, so you can actually see what you're doing. That's a serious razor if I've ever seen one. They actually call this setup the executive setup. For a limited time only, your first box, just like this, everything I had in here, you can get that for only $5. What you gotta do, just use the link down in the description. That's literally all you gotta do. And while you're out there, go ahead and check out all their shampoo and deodorant. It's really important. I promise. But anyways, let's get back to the video. Welcome back, guys. It is actually two or three days later, and we're over at the squirrel trap. The door is down. However, there's nothing in it. 
except the squirrel that we found on the road the other day. Now, that kind of raises my alarm, right? By the looks of everything, it doesn't really look like anything touched a squirrel at all, but we are gonna go ahead and check the trail camera just because, well, maybe a coon actually stood on the cage and set it off. We don't know that. So, we're just gonna come on in here to the cagey trail camera and we're gonna check it out, see what he says. And of course, this one's name is Derek. Now, he may not say anything at all. It may have literally just been the wind, but if it was an animal, I think we're about to find out what it was. Now, as you can see, we have 80 pictures. Keep in mind, we set it to photo and video, so that means we have about 40 interactions. Now, let's just uh, let's just flip through. If we see anything extremely interesting, we'll play the video. But if nothing too interesting, we'll just keep flipping. There's the first knot. There's a deer. Oh my gosh, let me go back to the picture and uh, let's go ahead and zoom in. One awesome thing about these trail cameras, you can literally zoom in and it's still extremely high quality. Oh, that's a fox and you can tell it. Well, we can probably get more pictures though. Now let's watch this video, see if anything crazy happened here. Looks like he's still circling around. Gosh, come on man, he really wants it. Oh, here this will be a good video if he's still here. There he is, gosh almighty man, he just keeps circling around the trap. Man, he's so catchable. He's so catchable. Come on. Aw, oh, he just keeps circling the trap so many times. That's so crazy. That's all he's been doing for the last, shoot, I don't even know how long. Actually, let's go back and check. We're going, we have the timestamps here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check and see exactly how long this sucker's been here. Okay, so we get our first picture about 2.22. Now I'm going to go to the last time where we see him and see how long he's actually been here. He's still here at 11.30 at night. This is the next night, so he's been here possibly every night. There's just some deer in the background, but man, that's crazy. Come on. We almost had a red fall. Those things are treasured too, man. Like, you don't see a ton of them. Literally the day I was setting it, I said to myself, I'm not going to cover it up because I don't expect to catch a fox. But now that we literally almost caught a fox, I'm thinking it may not be a bad idea to get some, like, leaves and try to cover it up. Ah, I'm going crazy. That was amazing. Oh, my goodness. That's wild. We are back. It has been about three or four days since we saw that fox on camera. The door's down this time, and there's actually something in it. And the squirrel's actually still in it. But we got us a little possum. He's not even a big possum. I mean, he's kind of small. I mean, I guess a possum is better than nothing. I will say that for sure. And having like a six or seven day old squirrel, I really didn't expect to catch the fox anymore because I, I, I don't really think fox like rotting things. Possums, on the other hand, well, they love rotting things. Let's come on over to the trail camera. We're gonna check it right here. We're gonna see if we can get the exact moment when we caught the possum. And I'm about positive that we can. Come in here to replay. Oh gosh, we have 330 pictures. Let's go ahead and flip through them real quick until we actually see what happened. Right there, I'm actually resetting it. That was the day that it fell. In that video, he's actually already in the trap. And in the video before, he's actually walking around the trap. If you look closely, it's kind of hard to see, but. He's right there on the outskirts just walking around. Here's the thing, guys. Did we get the possum on video walking in the trap? No. What happened was we actually said it's like a 15-second interval. And it just so happens he went in the trap during that 15-second interval. Now, intervals like that can be good and bad. They can be bad just like that. We didn't get the actual picture of him getting caught. But they can also be good because we had 330 pictures on there. It took a picture every time it seen movement. And with the possum in the cage, it saw movement on mine. Let's say we had that 15-second interval and turned it to five. We've had 900 pictures. That filled up a memory card extremely fast. But I'm gonna go ahead, delete all these files just because it's just a possum. There's nothing crazy about it. And in the meantime, we're gonna check out this guy. Now, we're looking, currently looking for a name for him because we like to name our possums. I think we're actually gonna name him Jalen. Look at all his teeth. I mean, his teeth have nothing to do with the name Jalen. I'm just saying look at his teeth because I don't know, they look kind of scary. And one bit me two years ago. Yes, yeah, sir. It hurts. We're going to let him out and see what he does. We don't have any real use for this possum. We just really wanted to see what in the world could we catch with a roadkill squirrel. And uh, we found out pretty soon. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, Jalen. I'm sorry. 
I totally just shut that on your head. Sorry, bro. Did not mean to do that. It was an accident. You gotta, you gotta believe me. This guy's probably gonna eat my leg off now. I didn't mean to do him dirty. I just, I just did. I mean, oh, that's what I get too. That's what I get. All right, Jalen, you're going to get out of there. You and the squirrel both. Come on. Well, there goes my phone. I'm not very good at this. Yes, my screensaver is my wanna. Cut me some slack. Come on, Jalen. Get out of the trap with your hands up. Put your hands in the air. And wave them like you just don't care. I ain't playing games no more. I'm serious. This guy thinks I'm a joke. And so does everyone else. What's new? Sorry, brubby, but I'm gonna have to make you get out of here. We got the easy way or the hard way. And you've already declined the easy way. Oh, snap! Boy, what are you gonna do, huh? You wanna, you wanna stick up? You wanna do something to me? What are you gonna do? You gonna charge me? You gonna charge me? I'll do the windshield wiper all over you. He didn't know what to do about my windshield wiper technique. Scared him half to death. What are you gonna do, charge me? Never had a possum charge me, but this is about as close as it's gonna get, son. I'm just saying, Jalen, if you come at me, I'm gonna kick you like a football. I'm just filming you, bro. I'm trying to let you go, but you just ain't helping me none. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Cool. I'm a, I'm, I feel like my ancestors, man. I'm getting that, I'm getting that predatorial urge, that prehistoric stuff. I can feel it. I can even, I can either hear the music coming on. Oh, snap, it's getting primal now, son. Oh, the music's full blast. It's crazy how whenever you get up like this, the music starts playing out of nowhere. I don't know where it's coming from out of the tree thing. I don't know, but the music don't come. Come on, Jalen, just get out of here. I'm just waiting on you, son. Oh, well, maybe he's fighting mode. Jalen, you're a bad egg. You're a little rotten sucker. Come on, Jalen. Yeah, there he gets gone. There he goes. What I did right there was mimic the territorial sounds of a full-grown mature possum. <laughs> That's what they sound like, son. It's funny how one moment he can be in fight or flight mode, and then the second moment he's literally just trying to find an acorn. Like he is taking his time and does not even care that I'm sitting here looking at him. 20 seconds ago, he thought I was going to end his life. And now he's just sniffing trees and stuff. I don't understand possums. That's okay. I don't have to. Sometimes you don't got to understand people to be friends with them. Same way with possums. But there we go, I guess. I mean, <laughs> crazy looking possum. He wasn't even that big. He was ferocious, though. I'll give you that. He was mean. That's that's qualities you look for in a good possum. Hot, dig hot diggity dog, he was mean. And I, and I would like to point out, it did not phase him until I started uh, mimicking a full-grown mature possum. Jalen we'll catch you next week literally <laughs> anyways guys I hope you liked the video if you if you guys want to try roadkill yourself probably wouldn't recommend it a good way to contract a few diseases but anyways guys I think one turn my truck camera right back on just get the dead squirrel set it out by itself we won't put it in a trap this time and we'll just see what the world eats it. and until next time if you want to support the channel at all Pick up your trail cameras at all. You already know where to do it. It is kindlegrade1.com slash shop or the first link in the description. But Kendall, dude, didn't you say you was going to give us a promo code at the end of the video? Good job, Jared. You were listening. Use promo code KGCAM for a percentage off your trail camera. It's only going to be available for like two or three days. I'm not sure. So if you want to use the code, it would be a really smart idea to go ahead and buy it today. I'm only doing this because you guys were here on the day I dropped it. And I want you guys to get a special deal on your camera. I'll see you later though. Just go pick up trail camera. They're awesome. Hey y'all. Go subscribe to Kendall Gray. Go buy his merch at kendallgray1.com slash shop. Or first link in the description. Hashtag Jesus. Hashtag Gray Gang.